Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60 with a stick in my face. <laughs> Today we are back at Roll Racing here at Queensland Raceway. Yes, so we are in the 17T car. I don't know if you can see it down there. Um, and it's going to be its last send off with the 6AT transmission. Um, I'm still running a relatively gentle tune. It's the one that was in the logs that you may have seen from the video on Tuesday. Um, I've never been able to put power down at rolls in this car before. Like normally end up pulling boost back to like, I think 10 PSI in second. Yep. And it'll still spin up. Uh, but this is the first time we've done it on AR1. So super excited to see how we go with AR1s. It's definitely gonna make a difference. And if they're really, really good, which they are really good, maybe you can even not go crazy on your boost limiting in first and second. Maybe even brake boost, Ooh, maybe that would, we will see. I, I'm, I'm feeling hopeful. Uh, the other thing, we've got Scott coming down with his fresh 19Ts, hoping to give Tim a run with his Flomax turbos. Oh, I think he's still having a few boost issues. Oh, bugger. Boost leak issues, I should say. Uh, but there's also a few other guys that we've already met. Uh, Ken Cooper, we're looking forward to having a run against you in your N54. Which, lit, which, I think you said last weekend when an 11.0 at Willowbank. On pump fuel. So it's- 11.0 on pump. That's it is a fast. Well set up M54. He's got, he's got Mickey T's on the rear, like he's good to go. All right, it's gonna be a good night. Let's get into it. Fingers crossed we don't break anything. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Oh my God, man. There are so many sick cars here. I've never seen this many cool cars at Rolls. I think, I thought it might've just been because we haven't been at Rolls for a while. I was getting all excited, but I think this is a particularly exciting session of Rolls because have a look at what's in front of us in the lineup. An F90 M5. That, even if it's completely Ooh. stock, is gonna- Wallop me. It's probably gonna blow your doors off. Yeah. <laughs> but there are a lot of really cool, interesting cars. I'm really looking forward to getting out and hopefully we can run the F90. Oh, he's getting in trouble. Ooh. Oh, he's got, I think he's got someone in the back. Oh, oh he's, just drive, drive forwards. Just drop. Catch us on the track. Yeah, right. That felt pretty good from the passenger seat. Yeah. Shit. We've just gone down the back just to make sure the car's running okay, and it's a very cold night. IATs are at 26 degrees at the moment, but she felt strong. Let's just see how much it doesn't hook up at 40. Yeah, practice 40 roll. All right. Jeez. Okay, so we got no traction at 40, <sighs> but this latest tune from JSR, I can hit the limiter and play with it a bit and it, it just sorts it out where it never used to be like that. It it's sounded, done something cool to it. It sounded really good then. Like, and I, I hit, heard it clip the limiter where normally this thing would have a spaz and you'd, it'd kill power then in the next gear, but it just sort of, it's like when you hit the limiter in an RV. But we don't hook up, so. Well, look, to be fair, that was the first run. You've got to get some heat into the tires first. Yeah. So hopefully it's a very cold night. The phone actually went flying then, so it still hooked up all right except it did ch chatter a little bit. So hopefully oh, it'll... Um, I want to go left. Oh, we are so early. We haven't been early to a, a Rolls ra a Royal Racing forever. We've literally just come straight into the lineup and we've got the F90 M5. Oh no. Guys, this is a good first race. Okay, but the, the tires are cold. I'm gonna warm them up. I'm gonna try and warm them up. Yeah, do a bit of a skid. Oh, good. Jesus, they sound awesome. You gotta catch up with him. Okay. I'm gonna kill So this. I got no power. Oh, oh really? Let's just see. Well, I can't put power down, I should say. Oh, no, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, that sounds good. I love all M5s, but the F90s are special. I'm not gonna um, brake boost. No, that's fair enough. So yeah, we go. Oh, I hit the limiter! Holy shit! Holy moly! Holy moly! M5. Just... Holy crap! Actually smoked him! I'm really Woo! surprised! I'm really... And that wasn't your cleanest run. He pro I, I'm assuming he had a terrible run as well. Dude, that... This car felt good! It yes. did! Yes! That... We didn't spin! Well, I don't think, oh, oh maybe we did. I have no idea. Oh. Holy shit. What, what, what? 3.1, 60 to 120. It's like the fastest I've ever Jesus done in Jesus Christ. On how, cold tires. How good are AR1s? They are good. All right. Oh, all right. this is going to be a good night. 
We've got to find the JB4 and check what's going on. Alright, the phones have gone flying from all the mounts. Let's... Got to... A few moments later... Fuck. Did that just snap an axle? Yep. Fuck me. Sorry, pardon my French. Shit. <laughs> oh no. Well, we were up against the drag car and Andrew was doing a tyre warmer. Oh, there's something in the gearbox. Really? Yes. The gearbox just exploded. Well, that's awesome. It's Lucky I got DCT, I better turn it off. Far out. Bugger. <sighs> Did you hear it as I put it back in the park? I heard a little rattle. It almost sounded like you got a twin plate cut rattling. Well. We got one run in! Woo! It's got too much power with AR1s. Fuck! That's but these AR1s are incredible. I need to I need to listen. I gotta take my helmet off. Yeah. Find out what's going on. Did you get it on film? Yeah. I but the, the drag car was doing a skid. So that's in drive? Yeah. Dri okay, yeah, I can hear a little clunk. Well, not a clunk, but a thud. I reckon I've snapped the drive shaft. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right, let's have a look. Well, that didn't go to plan. No, we're getting towed off track. And that's such a shame. There's so many cool cars here that would have been good to run. It's one hell of a night. I'll give you that for the cars here. All sorts of cars, JDMs, all sort of levels and power levels and drive types. And I kind of feel like we could have walloped that F90. That F90 was tuned as well. He had custom exhaust and it's popping and crackling. While we've been here parked on the side waiting for the tow truck to come, the tow truck, Pajero I should say, uh, he's, he's done a few flies past doing burnouts and it sounds crazy. I have a transmission fault. So... It would have been, I'm so, especially as this is the last time that you'll be racing this, you would have been racing this car with the, the standard 6 AT. I think, yeah, like I don't know what snapped. It doesn't feel, when I did the axle, I could still drive the car because it's got an LSD and it would still move. But there is zero drive now. Um, yeah, and obviously that transmission error. I think it's, it's either tail shaft or, ah oh shit, I don't know. It's either tail shaft or something in the gearbox. I thought it was gearbox at first, because as I put it into park, it was, it, it, gr it ground in. But if there's no tail shaft, the output shaft will be spinning on the, oh, sorry, I gotta pay attention here. The output shaft will be spinning on the transmission, and that would obviously cause it to click as it engages the park brake. Um, anyway. Well, the car's off the track. He's got us nice and close to the trailer, which is good of him. Let's get it winched on. What a start to the night, and what an end to the night. For this car, anyway. Oh. So, we've got it back up on the trailer, hopefully got some footage of that, and we have determined it wasn't the gearbox, it's not the drive shaft, it is the right-hand side, or driver's side being Australia axle. Snapped. Which is kind of expected when you consider how much power you're putting through stock axles with some very good rubber now. Yeah, so I hope you've been following along, but around October last year, I actually snapped the left-hand side factory axle, but I wasn't running a diff brace, and a lot of people said, I've snapped the axle because I didn't have the diff brace. Put the diff brace on, and it's felt really solid. Obviously, we went to the drag strip, we did that really quick zero to 60 about a month ago, and... It wasn't snapping, it felt sweet. Yeah, I thought I was pretty safe, but doing that tire warm up with the AR1s, I've never really tried to spin the AR1s up before, and I think it's just put a bit too much load on it, or I don't know, but anyway, it's... we snapped the other axles, so from this point on, we can either go M Factory, which I have those axles still, but then again, it's all gonna fall into the DCT swap anyway. Yeah. It has unfortunately brought my night to an early end. But we did get to race an F90 M5, and I think I touched on it as we were getting towed off the track. That car was tuned, and... Yeah, it sounded, I mean, that fast as hell stock, so the fact that you gave him a pretty... While spinning tires as well. Yeah, it's, I, I, I was hoping we were gonna get another run with him, um, but look, it's 
It's just what happens when you come, when you start playing with fast cars, stuff breaks. And now we're gonna go on, well, you guys are gonna have to wait for the next video, which is gonna be us in everybody else's car again. Yeah, we, there's still lots of other U92s, lots of other M4s, lots of other cool cars here, so still the nights. Actually, I'm gonna say, oh, I can't see, but they're all in the dark, but we got Tim, Scott, oh, Tim's gone, but Tim, Scott, there's a few regulars there's Tim, here. He's back, he's rocking his zero to 60 shirt sure. as well. All right, so you. there'll be some more races of other M54s in the next video. Thanks for watching and we'll yay, see you then. yay for snapping axles. <laughs> Peace right. out, guys. So here we go. Oh, I hit the limiter. Holy shit. Holy moly. Holy moly.